Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is a continuation of these pistol grips. The gentleman that asked me about it uh, actually sent me a photo of what he's kind of wanting. This is very easily done, and if you haven't watched the first two videos, I'm using a, a, a checkerboard 3D image from Epilogue's Facebook page, so you can go back and watch one and two. But I've got the grip here to the same size as the, pix, the pistol grip in the picture. Now this isn't 100% right because the picture probably needed to be scaled down, but I scaled down my grip. So to make this area, this is um, really easy. Just take your, I use my straight line pointer a lot, and I'm going to have a line right there and I'm going to hold down my mouse and I'm going to connect it there and then I'm going to connect it there. Then I'm going to take my shape tool and I'm going to circle all or select all these and I'm going to left click I'm going to convert them to curves. Now still with my shape tool you can take this handle and kind of make it fit the profile either the inside or the outside and I'm not going to take too much time on the video to get it perfect, but I can see that I need to, you know, maybe move this one up and just move that in a little tighter. And for the video, that's good enough. Now I'm going to take my gun away. I've got my nudge distance set on two inches. I'm going to group this for just a second. Control D or Control G, or I actually hit Control D. So that's fine, but now we need we don't need to group it anymore because it stayed together. But now we want to take this segment right here, and the only problem I see with this grip on a laser, I said last night it would engrave a little bit of an arch. It's going to be a hard time getting all the way to the edge with the laser and make it look good. So I'm going to tell him, when I send him this video, I'm going to tell him just to stay away from that edge. So what you would do is, and this is why I like the Smart Fill tool, I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to move it over two inches. I'm going to left click, well, I'm going to left click fill, or right click no fill. So now I've got no fill in it. I'm going to go up to Effects. I'm going to go to Contour, and I'm going to contour to the inside. I'm going to, I'm going to do a quarter inch this time. Well, let's do point two see what it looks like. So now we've got this contour. We can close our contour docker. Let's move our diamond plate out of the way for just a second. So this item, so what you need to do then is go to break the contour apart. And we need to change this line to an engravable line. And I'm just going to say one point at black. And before I would ever do any grips, I would definitely um, you know, test this on a piece of wood other than the grip. So now we're going to take our Smart Fill tool again and we're going to fill it up. We're going to left click no fill and I'm going to click on my 3D pattern. I'm going to go up to Effects, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame, and there we have our Power Clip. Now because I'm using my Nudge Factor or Nudge Distance, I can just put it right over it. Now let's group this together with control G and because I still haven't moved anything I can put it right on top of the pistol and see what it looks like. Now I made it quite a bit smaller with the point two, but this would definitely engrave on this grip because the you know this is going to be a really hard part to engrave. Um, you know you could, if anything you could move this whole thing over and just make this uh, well, it's a little bit off. You probably need another line there. But that's how I would do it. And I hope it helped him. And thank you for watching.